Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hedron here, how's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic, welcome to a new video, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome, I'm so happy to have you guys, if you guys are returning, you guys are here at a great time, because today is a handbag sale video, woo, so exciting, um, if you guys, if this is your first time watching one of my sale videos, I'm going to be showing you guys the items I'm going to be putting up for sale in my shop. So if you guys want to check it out, go to www.itshadrian.com to check out what I have for sale. Um, and don't forget to add me on uh, Snapchat. No, Snapchat. I don't have Snapchat. I really need to get Snapchat. People are always asking me if I have that. Instagram and Facebook. Um, that's where I'm going to be, like posting like little tidbits and everything of all the items that I have for sale but if you're gonna be, if you're already watching this video then you'll know that my items are already up for sale but for the future if you guys want to know when I put I start posting items and what I'm gonna have when, blah, 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 sneak peeks for what I'm gonna be having in the shop add me on Instagram that's the best way and if you have any questions also feel free to ask me um, and in this video I'm not gonna be giving any prices or anything I'm just gonna be showing you guys like the items that I have for sale like briefly and then all the like descriptions and like all that good stuff are gonna be in the posts for the items and then if you have any questions further just message me there and I will message you guys back um, and again also if you guys are international and are interested in purchasing anything message me um, and I will give you prices for shipping and uh, if you guys want to purchase more than one item together um, I can do like a bundle and you'll only have to pay shipping once and yeah, so with that being said, let's get on with the video and I'll start showing you guys what I have. Uh, I'm going to start off with, okay, these are not handbags, but I wanted to start off with these really quick because they're so cool. They're Giuseppe Zanotti little, like, heels. They're a size 7B and they're so cute. They have these bejeweled little turtles on them and they're not, like, in bad condition. They're actually pretty good. Um, there is, like, a little bit of wear on the front and then the bottoms are... Just like, they both kind of just look like that on the bottom, but they're still really good. I mean, they're fantastic. And yeah, I just love the little turtles. I love turtle anything. So I just had to get this and have it up for you guys. And I also have this jacket, which is really cool. And it's a helmet line jacket, size zero. And it's in black and white. And this one is just so cool. Helmet Lang, like, makes such awesome clothes. And I've been finding a couple pieces recently. I did find a pair of pants, and I've already sold them, but um, they would have matched this perfectly because they're black. But this is such a cool jacket, size zero. Awesome. All right, so let's get into the bag situation. Now, the first one I have here... Now, I've been on the fence about posting this item because I love it so much, but I think I will to see if anyone's interested just because it's so, so awesome. And I know there's a bunch of um, collectors out there watching too. And this is a Dooney and Burke. This is made in USA. And it's in a canvas uh, navy. And it has like fachetta leather. It does have like like the watery kind of stains on there. But I personally kind of like I, I actually do like it. I think it's really cool. And this is a huge bag. It opens beautifully. And it's perfect for like a, like a travel bag, overnight bag, weekend bag. Awesome. Has a removable crossbody strap and everything. And I think it's just so, 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 so cool. So I love this bag so much. It's like one of my favorite finds of the year. Then I have this gorgeous Kate Spade crocodile embossed leather. It's in a really cool like green color. Has a bow. The shoulder strap is awesome. And the inside is like nice and has tons of room and compartments. Then I have this really cute small coach bag perfectly on your shoulder. It's in like new condition. Uh, when I found it, it still has like the tissue paper inside and everything still has the care card. It's perfectly clean inside. Looks like it's never been used. This is perfect for um, like every day or if you like go to work and you want to have like a small bag to throw inside your purse and if you go to lunch you want to just bring a small bag with you. This is perfect. Fits your phone, wallet, some makeup, whatever you may need. Small essentials, perfect in there. Then I have some wallets. I do have a couple right here to show you guys. I have this yellow Tory Burch. Now the leather is a little bit worn, but I'm going to clean it up as well as I can. 
Um, but the inside is in fantastic condition, and I just love this mustard yellow, so it like kills me. Like I, I was toying with the idea of dyeing it, but I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like it. Um, just like this, it kind of looks more like worn in, and it kind of goes with like the distressed look of the Tory Burch logo right there on the front. Then I have this super cute little fossil wallet. I love the size of this wallet, and it holds a ton. So many card compartments in there for you, and it has the ID holder, it has a zipper on the back, and it just has a little button snap closure on the front. And then this Lotus clutch. You can use this as a wallet, as a clutch, evening clutch, day clutch, whatever. And it has tons of card space, cash space, all that. And you can even fit your phone in here and they'll still close nicely. Then, okay, so this has been, I've had this um, for a little bit, but I feel like I need to show it again because it's so cute and I still have it in my shop just in case you guys might have forgotten, but it's this beautiful Philip Lim. It's kind of like a speedy shaped bag. It has a crossbody strap as well. Comes with the care cards, authenticity cards, and it even still comes with the dust bag all in there. And it's in such great condition. And the color is so gorgeous, and I love it immensely. And yeah, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Philip Lim right there. And I have this really great Victoria's Secret pink from the Victoria's Secret, uh, Secret, Victoria's Secret pink line. And it's like this um, army green drawstring backpack. So cool, it's in great shape, has silver hardware, and it's just like really functional. And it's nice and light, so it can still hold a ton and it's not gonna add a lot of weight to what you're carrying. So that's awesome. So I have that right there. Oh, okay, so I'm like completely obsessed with this bag. It's so cute. This is a Michael Kors collection bag. Now, these are actually made in Italy. The leather is to die for. It has silver hardware. And the interior is actually also like, uh, I don't know if it's like, I think it's not suede. The interior is suede. It comes with a desk bag. And it is in fantastic, fantastic condition. And it zips across the top. It's small, but it's a good size. And it's kind of similar to um, the Celine, like, uh, what is it? The Nano Luggage. So, 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 so cute. And this bag, is, I just love, like, navy, and I love the shape, and I love the style, and I love the feel of the leather. It's so, 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 so nice. And I have another navy one, but I can't, where did it go? I'll show you guys that later when I find it. But, uh, I want to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous mulberry. It's like a vintage mulberry crossbody bag and like this really cool like antiqued leather the pebbling on it is really cool it kind of almost looks like um alligator but it's not like a print or thing is it i don't know it kind of has like an alligator-y kind of print right there look but um i'm not too sure what kind of leather it is and like what all that is but it's right there mulberry made in england has a little medallion right there with a the serial code underneath and it just has like that cool like plaid lining and yeah so cute so gorgeous vintage mulberry beautiful this is the first mulberry bag i've ever found and i'm really really excited up next i have this gorgeous sequin um oriani bag and it's cool because it's like blue and then it's also like silver when you like kind of like flip over the sequins and it just has like the Ariani logo, like a uh, fabric inside, bright green. And then, yeah, so it's really, really great. Super cute crossbody, perfect for parties, evening, going out, just like super fun. Then up next, we have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Rebecca Minkoff diaper bag. I love this. It's like, it has the silver studs and then it has the a leather trim and it's embroidered with a circle. I think it's so so cool. It has a crossbody strap and then the interior has like tons of compartments for all your baby stuff. And you can even use this just for like every day. You don't even need a baby. You can just use this for work every day. It's just like a nice bag and it's so 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 cute. And I love this bag immensely. It's so cool. Then up next I have, um, this is a Foley and Karina 
little crossbody bag and it's like in black and beige I love the combination I love the way the bag falls like I love the shape that it takes because like when it's like this like it's completely different it's just like a tote and then the crossbody strap like then it looks totally different like I love bags that like the shape is so dimensional and so different like when you carry it different ways so I really like it a lot the studs are here on the crossbody strap which are really cool there's two of them and then there's like the little knots here too like on the handle which I think are really awesome and the interior is nice and big and tons of space for like all your necessities then up next I really really like this bag a lot and it's like one of my favorite kind of like silhouettes and it's um, the double zip and it's like similar to like the Prada Safiano double zip tote. This one is the Kate Spade version. It's nice and clean. It's in this gorgeous like gray ice color which I am completely obsessed with. It has the light gold hardware so there's the double zips right up at the top so and then the interior is just like a nice big open space. It has a back zipper pocket and then two open pockets in the front and yeah just nice and simple functional and perfect for every day for work for school whatever it holds a ton and you can get a lot of use out of this bag for sure now up next we have this gorgeous Rebecca Minkoff I am obsessed with this bag I love like the print on it it's kind of like a snake alligator type of deal on there and it's like it's it feels like patent but like the like the way that they printed the snakeskin, that part's like patent and underneath is just like regular leather. I think it's really cool. It has gold hardware, has a removable crossbody strap, and the interior is just like a nice, yeah. It's just like all the other Rebecca Minkoff bags as well. It has a zipper, has a uh, card compartment, and then two open spots right there for like your cell phone, makeup, whatever you may need. And then I have this really cool, um, this is a, I think it's, I think it's probably vintage. Oops. Let's see, where is this made? Yeah, I think it's made in USA. Yeah, made in USA, it's right there. Made in USA. Um, this is a vintage drawstring Dooney bag. So what's really cool about this bag is that you can carry it like a backpack. So it has like the one, oops. I can't even like, there it goes. So you can like wear it crossbody like that like a backpack and then it comes out and then just this just goes up like this which is super cool and then you can carry it just like on your shoulder like that so it becomes just the shoulder bag so I think the the design of it is like super awesome I love that so much and the interior is just like nice and like it's suede inside like the underside of the leather and it's a drawstring bag and who doesn't love a good drawstring and yeah and then there's a pocket right here in the front beautiful in great condition especially for a vintage made in USA bag this bag is holding up really well it's like in amazing condition I can't even <laughs> I'm just like covering it I can't even describe it. but I love the little pom-poms on there they're so fun and this is just such a cool bag. I've never seen that kind of style with a drawstring and then the backpack option and that becomes a tote. I think that's amazing. Then up next, I have this beautiful Mark by Mark Jacobs. This is a um, leather with a ostrich embossed print on it. And it's almost like a, like a pinkish, reddish color. Uh, it has a front turn lock pocket right there and then it just opens up nicely and this is in like like new condition there's the original tags are still attached to the back of the bag on there and then the inside just has the, it's a zippered compartment but then there's a zipper pocket right there and two open pockets gold hardware removable crossbody strap and it's also adjustable and it's a great satchel perfect for school work every day whatever it's just a nice looking bag and that's really really functional and up next we have oh I think I showed this to you guys last time but I still have it just to remind you guys this beautiful Rebecca Minkoff is still available satchel um, I love the leather beautiful silver um, hardware the crossbody strap is inside so it has a turn lock right there just like that 
and cross body strap right inside. It's adjustable, beautiful. The inside is really good condition and just a beautiful, beautiful satchel. I love these style bags. I have a ton of them. Then, oh, this one I've also had for a little bit, but I just want to show you guys this again too. This really cute Michael Kors um, satchel with the gold leather. So, so cute. There's a little Michael Kors dongle right there. Adorable little top handle bag. Then I have this beautiful Brighton. I love this bag so much. The leather appliques that are also embroidered and all that stuff are so cool. This little bird kills me on the back. He's like my favorite. And the bag is in fantastic condition. Um, there is like a weird like little... I don't want to... Like I don't know exactly what happened. It might be like... I don't know. I don't know how this could have happened. But that's like what like the biggest flaw of the bag is inside. And um... The stitching is coming apart right here for like the pocket between the other pocket but it's not really that big of a deal because then you can always sew it back up or you can just use it as one big pocket if the whole thing unravels. But the bag, like the leather, the exterior is in great condition. There is a little bit of lightning on the corners. Um, I'm going to condition them and see how they look. Sorry about that. I actually have no clue when the camera cut me off. But I'm just going to start off again with this beautiful Betsy Johnson bag. Um, it's like, cause the leather is really cool, kind of has like a shiny quality to it, and just really, really pretty. I don't know if I like saw someone outside, um, but yeah, satchel, crossbody, vintage Betsy Johnson, all leather, stunning. The interior is a little like kind of linty, but I'm gonna clean it off as best as I can. But otherwise, the bag is in fantastic condition. It has a back zipper pocket and then an open pocket right there, and then the strap is removable. And up next I have, now this one is cool because this one is a beautiful B. Mikowski. It still has the tags attached on there as you can see. It's in a cool like metallic um, kind of like snake skin kind of finish. I love the contrasting leather straps in that like golden tan color. And yeah, just a beautiful B. Mikowski tote. Perfect for the upcoming holiday season. And... Up next, we have this little fossil, so adorable. Just has a two zippers across the top, so it's kind of like a double pouch bag, and it has just a crossbody strap. Really cute fossil gold hardware. And then I have this gorgeous, gorgeous Tory Burch tote, and I love it so much. It's kind of like this cool. Um, what kind of fabric is this? Uh, it's kind of like a burlap. It has like a like a painted snakeskin design on it, and then just has like a the two inner pockets, and then it has a snap closure, and then the trim is black leather. So really, really cool. Like that a lot. Oh, I love this bag. So up next we have this beautiful Mark by Mark Jacobs East West satchel in like this tone on tone taupe and beige and cream. I love this bag, it has gold hardware, I love this little detail right here where the turn lock closes the zipper and then it has a dust bag. The bag is actually in really great condition with just very, very minimal signs of wear and I just love this bag so much. It's so cool. The strap, the cost price strap is adjustable but it's not removable but you can adjust the length if you please. Then up next, I have this gorgeous Rebecca Minkoff. Now this is in suede and then regular leather um, combination. It has this really cool uh, embroidered print on the top flap. There is a little bit of discoloration back here. I'm going to try and clean it off as much as I can. You'll see it better in the photos of the actual listing for the bag once they have it up. And then the inside is nice and clean. Like it, literally the bag is in such great condition. It's just this little minor discoloration in the back right there that um, is really the only thing that ha the bag has wrong with it. But otherwise, it's invisible when you're carrying it. So it's not like, for me at least, it's not like a huge deal. And yeah, so you can also remove the crossbody straps if you like and kind of use it like a clutch, which I think would be really cool. Or you can even adjust a different kind of strap to it if you like. Um, tons of options. Then up next, I have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous vintage Michael Kors bag. This is really cool. It's kind of like a baguette kind of shape. It has a double zip top 
and then just opens up nicely and has a back zipper pocket and then two open pockets gold hardware I love the buckles on the front and yeah just a really cute Michael Kors bag definitely vintage and definitely gorgeous then up next I have this beautiful coach briefcase love it I love finding these bags this one is huge I don't know why I feel like it's bigger than all the other ones that I found but it's stunning has the top handle has the crossbody strap still has a little dongle right there as well um, kind of rare for it to have silver hardware um, don't really come across a lot of these with silver hardware which I really really like then the interior opens up nicely has the back zipper pocket and then has another pocket in the front with the pen holders card holders and all that stuff so beautiful 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 coach then up next oh you guys are gonna love this okay so inside this little bag it comes with a dust bag still and you can see that it is a Prada so this will come with a dust bag and it is just the cutest little nylon Prada crossbody it's actually in great shape it's a good size and actually can hold a ton so it's really 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 cute has the little plaque right there on the front and here's the little Blacky guy on in the inside and all that stuff. So really, really cute. This is an authentic Prada crossbody bag. It comes with the desk bag and everything. So really excited to have that for you guys. Then while we're talking about bags with dust bags, I have this one right here. Now this one, where's the little thing? Ah, there it is. A Fendi. Yes. So this one I'm really, really excited for because it is so gorgeous now this one is a Fendi shoulder bag I love like the little top flap right here I believe this is called the Zucker print it's in black and this bag is in like fantastic condition you guys it's beautiful and amazing um, it still has the original Saks Fifth tag on it as well and then Right there is a the little logo, and it is like in fantastic condition. You guys, there's a back pocket, and that's about it. And the interior, and then it's just a beautiful fabric shoulder bag. I love the style, it's like very reminiscent of like a Birkin. I love the straps, they're so soft and easy to carry on your shoulder. And they're also slightly adjustable. I have them at the longest length, you can make them a little bit shorter if you like, if you want. Alright you guys, I'm so sorry that the camera keeps dying, I don't know what's wrong with my batteries, but, um, so yeah, that Prada bag, or v Fendi bag, is so cute, I love it immensely, and I hope you guys do too. Um, oh, here's that other Michael Kors bag that I was telling you guys about, now this one, so, so cute, kind of reminds me of like a little mini version of the Givenchy Antigone, or Antigona, or however you pronounce it, um, navy, and darker navy, and top zip, really nice, has a cute little dongle with Michael Kors on there, cross body strap is removable and adjustable, and the interior is like pretty clean, and it also still has a little care pack to go with it, so 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 cute. It has like little feet, which I also really really like. So, there's that. Ah, then up next I have this Marc Jacobs. This is, um, Marc by, this isn't Marc by Marc, it's like the, um, the Marc Jacobs like uh, collector pieces that are made in Italy. Um, beautiful. The inside is nice and clean. Suede lining, and it has like a nice zipper pocket right there. And yeah, I love like the the little clasp too. Kind of just like pops in and out. Really, really nice. A beautiful orange color, which I am obsessed with. Then up next, I have this really cool looking B Mikowski bag. I love it so much. It kind of looks like it has like a biker look to it. it has an embossed um, snake skin or crocodile kind of look. It has a law like a pocket in the front. It has a pocket in the back, and this opens up nicely with a leopard print lining right there. And I don't know what else I can say. It's such a cool bag. It has a little dongle right there as well. And I don't know. This bag is just so chic looking. I really like it. It's really nice. Then up next, I have another Prada bag. This one is gorgeous. I love the style of this one. This has a long shoulder strap. The like 
the chain is so nice and substantial too like you can feel like the weight is really nice and it has leather woven through and the rest of the bag is a nylon and it's quilted there's a little Prada placard right there and then it just zips right there and opens up to the lining and all that so it's really really cute bag I really like it immensely and yeah nice shoulder bag Prada for you beautiful and this is an authentic Prada too beautiful yeah, all the Fendi and the Prada, the, those bags are all authentic, so they are like so gorgeous and I'm so excited to find them for you guys because I know a couple of you guys have been asking for more for like Prada and then um, Fendi too, so um, this is for you guys, I'm really excited. So then I have this beautiful, I think this is J. Crew. I love the clasp on here too, so it's really cool, it's like a little circle thing and you pop that down and then the top just pops open. And it has a nice crossbody strap, which is removable, if you like. And just like another front pocket. And yeah, just a great little small bag. Perfect for every day, or even just for like a night out. So, really nice. It just has a little bit of wear right there on the front clasp. But other than that, the bag is in fantastic condition. Then up next, I have this beautiful Kate Spade fabric bag in like a lime green. There are a little a couple marks on it, but the bag has like so much life left to it. It has leather trim, has the this nice like adjustable crossbody strap, and the interior is like amazing. It has so much space. And I really like it a lot. So and the interior is really clean too. So it has tons of compartments, tons of space. This would be a good Disney bag. Like you know like those bags they take Disney with all your snacks and everything inside. This is perfect. And it's fabric too, which is nice at Disneyland. Then I have this really cute um, camel colored coach bag, just like a little crossbody. Has like the metal little um, coach charm on there. And yeah, not much to say, just a really great bag. Does have a couple marks on it. I'm going to try to clean it up as best as I can. But it's a great color and a great size and style. Oh, this one I'm pretty obsessed with. Now this one is another coach. I love this color. It's kind of like a sea foam, kind of like sea foam meets Tiffany blue color. Love it. I don't know if it picks up that well on camera, but it's really, really cute. And yeah, it's a great size, great tote, and it's beautiful. Has great pockets and then tons of space inside. Then I have like this really cool fabric diesel shoulder bag which is really nice, so I'll have that for you guys. I haven't found a lot of diesel bags. This is probably like the third one that I found in the, my all my time is thrifting, and it's a really cute one, I like it. Then up next I have this gorgeous, um, this is a vintage Betsy Johnson. This is a all leather, has the studs, has like the little ruching right there, which is really cool, like the ruffle. And I think it's lambskin, it's super duper soft, and I just like all the details on this bag. There's a little plaque right there on the back, and it's silver hardware. Then I have another B. Mikowski. This is another cool one, kind of looks biker-ish like it. I like all this like detail in the front. It has a zipper right down the middle, two pockets, and then a pocket in the back, and silver hardware. Sorry, there's like a bunch of cars like in front of my house. Uh, like I think the like the guys that are working on the back came back to start working again. They're back from lunch. But I have this beautiful fossil bag next. Now this one is really cool. I like this like um, em embossed kind of floral print, which is really cool. And what I really like about it is that the floral print carries into the lining too, which is really nice. And this has just a nice adjustable crossbody strap. You can make it shorter and just make it into a shoulder bag if you like as well. Then while we're on fossil, I have this gorgeous gold fossil tote. It's kind of like a lizard snake skin type of like embossed leather. Really nice. I actually like the size of this bag a lot and it has a zipper across the top and I love the color and there's also a back pocket right there which is nice. Then I have this beautiful yellow, I think this is a Lucky Brand bag. I like this detail on the handle and it carries down to the bottom of the bag or the sides and the bottom of the bag which I really really like. I love this like yellow, light yellow color and then the inside is just brown fabric. 
right there. And yeah, really, really great bag. Up next, I have this small little Dooney clutch. It also has a crossbody strap. If you want to carry it like that, we can remove it. You use it as a clutch, as a wallet, and the inside is just like nice, clean. It has a zipper right there. Then up next, I have this really cute little vintage coach bag. I don't have the crossbody strap that goes with it, but I do have um, this other crossbody strap, but the hardware doesn't match, unfortunately. It's silver, and the rest, like, the bag is actually brass. But you can, if you have another one with a brass hard with brass hardware on it, you can definitely use that, or use a cool chain, but it's a cute little Kelly-style bag. It's actually a pretty good size. It does hold an iPhone 7 Plus, your wallet, and all your essentials, and there's also a back pocket as well, and this is in just, like, nice, soft black leather. And I just have, ooh, sorry, two more bags to share with you guys. Um, first of which is this Mark by Mark Jacobs silver satchel. It just has like the embossed um, Mark Jacobs um, like leather. Actually, I actually don't think this is leather. I think it might be um, coated canvas, which I think is actually what it is. Coated canvas, which is cool. There is there are some like dark marks on there from like wear, but. Eh, I feel like it just like adds to the character of the bag. I don't know, it reminds me of a astronaut. It's kind of cool. And I still have one more bag. I actually have other bags to show you guys, but this is going to be the last one I'm going to show you guys in the video. Um, just don't forget to check out the shop and just browse through everything because I have a lot of stuff posted up. Uh, but is this Fendi. This was my <laughs> Fendi Halloween bag. It's so, so cute. Um, now this is an authentic Fendi bag. It's uh, like a kind of like a burlap canvas and then it has the outline silhouette of a bag. It has a gold Fendi logo right there and the straps are leather and then the interior is just like the canvas itself. And then it has like the little Fendi made in Italy um, little tag right there. And then it has like the little hologram sticker guy right there and then this is like the other like part of like the Fendi little thing so that rounds out today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and barreling through the video if you guys made it all the way to the end hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up if you guys did don't forget to subscribe for regular thrifting videos haul videos handbag rehabs which i i promise are coming because i love you guys have been messaging me about that as well and i love you guys immensely and i'll see you guys all tomorrow love you bye shut the front door what is this it's like a fur thing russian black mink faux fur throw Oh, it's so fabulous. This is nice too. How much is this? 95. And 40% off, that's like $100. So it's about $60. That's not bad. This is really pretty. I wonder how big this is.